I'll first probably just start out by saying painting shouldn't be fun. So today's paint talk is going to be one of those where I answer one question that's kind of an umbrella question that will probably be very helpful for a lot of people. And the question comes from nothing special. That's the username. I'm not going to read the entire question because uh, it's really long and English wasn't their, you know, it's not their first language, so it's it's a little hard to understand. So pretty much the question they have is how should they feel while they're painting? Because they're saying that when they paint, it's a very frustrating process uh, for most of the time. You know, they start out, it's, it's very difficult. They say their blood is boiling. Uh, they feel actual physical discomfort and they're thinking in their mind, you know, all, all my previous successful paintings were just flukes. I don't know what I'm doing. I've just gotten lucky. And it's not until the last 10% of the painting that things actually start to come together. They regain their confidence. They say, oh, this is going good. I'm, I'm good at painting. This is great. And they finish the painting and they have this feeling of satisfaction. But, you know, that's like the only positive feeling they have while they're painting is once they're done. And they say that they talk to other uh, painters, they say successful painters that say they enjoy the entire process from beginning to end, that it's effortless, enjoyable, easy, um, and they want to know if that's that's normal. Now, they, they go on to say that these artists, the, art, the painters that um, they're talking, asking this, uh, don't uh, paint realistically, and kind of what I gauged from it, the, the question was, you know, that these painters may not be doing like representational artwork, or they're not heavily focused on, you know, technique and, and, and it might be more abstract and conceptual. Um, so I'll first probably just start out by saying painting shouldn't be fun uh, in the sense and like in the way that, you know, eating donuts is fun. It, it's a different kind of fun and it's, it's going to be difficult and it's going to be hard most of the time. If it's not, that means that you're not pushing yourself and you're not trying to get better. Now, it shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't be pulling your hair out every single time you do a painting. You need to have a healthy relationship with that resistance um, that you're getting from painting. Uh, I always say that you have to honor the effort. No matter how your painting turns out, good or bad, you have to honor the effort that you actually got out and painted today and you learned and you got better. I know what it's like. Like I, so many times I've woken up early. I drive an hour to go play in air paint. I hike for another hour. I'm sweating. I got, there's mosquitoes. I set up, I'm painting the lights moving. People are stopping by asking questions like, Oh, is this your first time ever painting? And my painting turns out awful and ugly. I get home, I wipe it down and nobody ever sees it. But I'm not angry, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated, but I understand that I had to paint that bad painting to get to the good paintings. And I honor the effort. I understand that I got better today. And a lot of people don't think that way. And, and a lot of people let that fear of doing a bad painting keep them from even going out and painting. I can say, well, at least I actually got out and painted it. There's a lot of people that didn't get out and didn't go paint today. There's a lot of people out there that are afraid to fail and they're not willing to fail as much as you need to, to get better. You know, you really do fail your way to success. And as you get better, things will become easier, but also your expectations will constantly be rising as well. So don't ever think that you're gonna get to this place where painting is just so fun and effortless and you can just practically paint a painting with your eyes closed. Yes, you're gonna get technically better and painting certain things and doing certain things with paint is going to become very easy and even effortless to you. But again, your expectations of yourself are going to rise with that. So you're going to be expecting more of yourself. I know this is the case with me because I feel as I get better at painting, my paintings take longer and longer to do. You think it'd be the opposite. You think as you get better, oh, it should take you, you know, you should be painting quicker and quicker, but it's not because I expect more out of my paintings. I want to push my paintings more. I see more. I, I want to develop them 
them more. I'm I'm trying to get to a better, different level than I have before, and that just takes longer. So it's good to feel frustration while you're painting. That means that you care, and that means that you want it to work and you want to get better, but you can't let that hinder yourself. Like, don't be pulling your hair out every time you're painting. You know, understand that it's okay if the painting doesn't work out well. You can paint again. I feel like a lot of people think that they get lucky during paintings or they do a painting like, oh, I got lucky and this just kind of worked out or oh, how do I save my colors? You know, I mixed up these colors and I don't think I'll ever be able to mix these colors again. How do I save them? It's like, you you will be able to mix them again. You don't need to, to save them for next time you paint. I mean, you can, but that mindset of you can't mix them again is just not good. I don't know, maybe I have a weird relationship with my paintings themselves because once I'm done with them, I really don't care that much about them. Uh, my enjoyment is while I'm painting. Yes, it's it feels good to do a painting that you know is at a higher level than you've painted before. You know, you've accomplished a way of painting that you wanted to be at for a long time. I mean, a lot of times you don't really recognize that when it happens because your progress is so small and little steps that you kind of have to at one point stop and kind of take a step back uh, from your work and kind of look at it from a different perspective and be like, oh, wow, like I've gotten a lot better in this past year. Look at this painting, look at that painting. Wow, I didn't really realize that. I'm not very precious with my paintings. I feel like once it's done, it's not mine anymore. It's it's just out there for people to enjoy and or, or buy or whatever. What I get out of it is the enjoyment of the process of actually painting. I enjoy it even though it is difficult. It's not like I'm just sitting there smiling, you know, laughing the whole time while I'm painting effortlessly. It is difficult. It is hard. I enjoy the challenge. But the thing I enjoy the most is learning. I enjoy getting through a painting, learning more. And I know I have every single time you do a painting, you learn. Even if you don't know what you learned, you've learned something. And I know with every single painting that I finish, I've gotten a little bit better. And I don't have some specific goal of how I want to paint or, or, or where I want to end up because I know there is no end. There is no, oh, I've got to where I want to paint and, and that's it. Like it will go on forever. You know, my improvement will, will go on forever. I, I, I'll never be satisfied. I'll never be like, oh, I've gotten to the top of the mountain. Well, time to do something else. That's not going to happen. So you don't have an exact destination. You're kind of forced to just enjoy the journey. That sounds so hippie-ish. So what do you do if you have a bad painting? It doesn't turn out well, what do you do? Uh, well, first you take it and you light it on fire. I'm just kidding, you don't do that. Take a look at it and identify what went wrong. What do you not like about it so that you cannot do that on the next painting? Let it just, you know, don't just throw it away and not think about it, use it. Like use what you learn to get better and don't let it make you upset. You know, like I said before, honor the effort. Acknowledge the fact that you actually painted today. I have crates and crates of failed paintings. I definitely have way more failed paintings than I do successful paintings. Not everything that you paint needs to be a masterpiece that you're gonna frame and hang on your wall. This is again why I suggest people do studies, get a pad of canvas paper, you know, have practice paintings, have practice time, you know, doing studies, no pressure, you know, no one's gonna see, this doesn't matter if it turns out well, you're gonna try out different things. Now in the question, they mentioned the other painters that they talk to that say they never have any difficulty painting, that it's enjoyable and not difficult from start to finish. Well, either one, they're lying, or two, they're not pushing themselves and they're not trying to get better and they've kind of, hit a point where they're just satisfied and they're just kind of coasting off of that. Um, they say that these painters, you know, make a good amount of money doing what they're doing. Uh, I'll, I'll just say just because an artist is making money doesn't mean that they're a good artist. There are plenty of artists out there making tons of money that just skill wise are not very skilled. You know, whether their paintings are good or not, that's up to interpretation, but you can definitely say when people have a certain level of skill, technical skill painting and don't. So don't let, if they're making money or successful, influence your, you know, the, 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 the opinion you have on what they say. I personally would not be listening to these people because especially if you're just starting out painting, it, it's gonna be difficult. It's always going to be difficult. I just don't see how any painter, any stage doesn't 
have difficulty at a certain aspect. I mean, yeah, you get better and things become easier, but then your expectations rise as well. So you expect more out of yourself. And there's master painters out there that not every painting they do turns out perfectly. They have paintings that nobody sees, the paintings that end up in stacks in their studios. Uh, and I think telling somebody starting out that the, their process isn't difficult, it puts a false expectation in their mind of where they need to get to. It's like, oh, well, I need to get to the point where it's not difficult for me and, it, it, and everything is just easy and nothing goes wrong and every stroke is right where it should be and I don't have to wipe anything off or start over or redraw or any of that. That's not realistic. That's not what it is. Um, so don't have that expectation. So I think this all boils down to expectations. Although it is enjoyable to finish a painting and have it go well and you enjoy it and you like it, try the best you can to not get so much satisfaction from the completed piece as much as the process. Put more stock into enjoying the process, enjoying the learning, what you get out of actually painting opposed to the painting itself. Because if you do that, if you put more stock into the actual process, every time you paint, even if it doesn't go well, you're still gonna get a certain level of enjoyment out of it because no matter what, you're gonna be learning. If you put all your stock in the end product, when you don't have an end product that you like, a piece that you like, then you feel like you wasted your time and that you failed and things aren't going well, which isn't the case. All right, so this is a big topic and it's kinda of hard to talk about without going in circles and, and repeating yourself. Uh, so please, comment below uh, any questions that you have or comments, thoughts on the process, how do you feel, do you feel like this? Uh, this person who asked this question about being very frustrated, it's not till the end, uh, do you enjoy the process more and, and the end product isn't as important to you, please let me know in the comments section. And if you want questions you want answered on next week's Paint Talk, leave those in the comments section as well. And if you wanna see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. Full uh, painting video tutorials are on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting. Whoa, you're still here. You made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like it. In that case, you should hit the subscribe button. You'd also probably like this video too. And this video. Please pick one. All right, this is getting awkward.